Let me talk to you! From revealing the five players Newcastle can make a profit on amid financial fair play concerns, to Alexander Isak dropping a massive update on staying or leaving Newcastle United, to Newcastle United attacker Jankuba Minte outperforming every single youngster in Europe at something this season. What do you mean by that? To Amanda Stavely about to be disqualified from being a Newcastle owner. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Join us as we break it all down. Let's go! Newcastle United co-owner Amanda Stavely has been ordered by the High Court to pay £3.4 million to Greek shipping tycoon Victor Restis following a legal battle. If Stavely fails to make the payment before April 22nd, Restis has the option to issue a bankruptcy petition. Restis' legal team has stated that they will pursue this course of action if the debt remains unpaid. It's important to note that individuals who are declared bankrupt or file for bankruptcy are typically disqualified from acting as directors or owners of football clubs. However, Stavli, who holds a 6% share in Newcastle, intends to appeal the judgment. The dispute between Stavli and Restis originated from a £10 million investment that Restis made in Stavli's business ventures back in 2008. Stavli had already repaid slightly over £6 million of the initial sum but Restis' subsequent claim included an additional £31.3 million in interest, which was later dropped. The court's ruling requires Stavely to pay the outstanding amount owed to Restis by the specified deadline, or else face the possibility of bankruptcy proceedings. Stavely's intention to appeal suggests that she will challenge the decision and seek to overturn or modify the judgment. Then moving on, Jankuba Minte, a Newcastle United attacker currently on loan at Feyenoord, has been excelling during his loan spell this season. He has scored seven goals and provided three assists, showcasing his development and emerging as a promising talent. According to a post by Football Observatory, Minte has achieved an impressive statistical feat that places him at the top of the list for under-20 players across Europe. Specifically, he averages more key passes per 90 minutes, 1.24, than any other young player in Europe, surpassing the highly praised Barcelona player Lamine Yamal, 1.06. Newcastle is reportedly considering signing a new right winger to replace Miguel Almiron in the upcoming summer transfer window. However, Minte's strong performances suggest that he could be a ready-made replacement, potentially saving the club a significant amount of money. Newcastle's attack has been lacking a creative spark, particularly in breaking down well-organized defenses. Minte's abilities as a playmaker could provide the solution that manager Eddie Howe has been seeking. While Minta has received criticism from Feyenoord boss Arna Slot regarding his positioning, he is still in the early stages of his career at just 19 years old. With a full pre-season behind him at Newcastle, it will be intriguing to see how he is utilized in the upcoming campaign. Considering Newcastle's limited budget due to financial regulations in the Premier League, Minte's emergence as a viable option for next season could save the club significant funds. This would allow them to allocate resources to other areas of the squad, such as bringing in a backup striker for Alexander Isak or a defensive midfielder to support Bruno Guimaraes. In what promises to be a demanding season, Minte's potential impact could prove crucial for Newcastle as they aim to compete for Champions League qualification spots in the new campaign. Then moving on, Newcastle United facing financial difficulties may be forced to sell some of their key players this summer in order to comply with the Premier League's Profit and Sustainability Rules, PSR. The club's chief executive, Darren Eales, has suggested that parting ways with standout performers might be necessary for Newcastle to maintain their upward trajectory. If we're going to get to where we want to get to, at times it is necessary to trade your players, he said. Additionally, there are reports indicating that the club's management is keen to fund a four-man spending spree in the upcoming transfer window to address various positions that require reinforcements. This desire stems from Newcastle's failure to replicate their successful campaign in securing a Champions League spot during the 2022-23 season. Givmasport has identified five players from Newcastle's roster who could potentially be sold to generate profit and alleviate the club's financial issues. Firstly, Bruno Guimaraes, who was purchased for £40 million, is considered a player whose sale could significantly improve Newcastle's financial position. The Brazilian midfielder has become a crucial figure in the club's midfield and his departure could provide a boost to Newcastle's accounts, especially considering the relatively low cost of his acquisition. 
Guimaraes has a release clause set at 100 million pounds, and there are reports suggesting that Manchester City is willing to meet that valuation. However, it remains uncertain whether the Premier League champions will indeed spend such a substantial amount on acquiring him. Nevertheless, Newcastle might find themselves in a situation where they are compelled to sell Guimaraes due to their financial circumstances, particularly if there is interest from other top clubs such as Manchester United, Chelsea and Liverpool. In terms of his performance, Guimaraes has made 97 appearances for Newcastle, scoring 13 goals and providing 13 assists. When considering the cost of his transfer, he has averaged approximately £412,371 per appearance. Secondly, Sean Longstaff, an academy graduate of Newcastle United, represents a player whose potential sale could result in pure profit for the club since no transfer fee was initially paid for his services. Longstaff has been a valuable asset to the club, making a total of 172 appearances for the senior team. However, there are uncertainties regarding his role and fit within the squad. According to reports, Leeds United is growing increasingly confident about the possibility of signing Longstaff in the upcoming summer transfer window. With just one year remaining on his contract, an asking price of £15 million is speculated to be enough for Leeds to secure the 26-year-old midfielder. Considering his position in the midfield pecking order and the financial benefit, selling Longstaff may be deemed the most appropriate course of action for Newcastle. In terms of his performance statistics, since Longstaff is an academy graduate, and he has scored 14 goals and provided 11 assists during his time with Newcastle, then thirdly, Miguel Almiron joined Newcastle United in 2019 from Atlanta United for a transfer fee of £21 million. At the time of his signing, he was relatively unknown in European football. Since then, he has made over 200 appearances for the club, scoring 30 goals and providing 12 assists. However, some fans feel that he lacks the cutting edge required to establish himself as a long-term option for the team. Newcastle is reportedly open to considering suitable offers for Almiron, indicating that his time at St. James of Park may be coming to an end. There were reports during the winter transfer window of a verbal agreement between Almiron and Al-Shabaab, a club in Saudi Arabia, for a fee close to £26 million. It is speculated that Al-Shabaab may be willing to test Newcastle's resolve by offering a higher sum to acquire the 30-year-old Paraguayan. In terms of his performance statistics, Almiron has made 204 appearances for Newcastle, resulting in a cost per appearance of approximately £102,941. He has scored 30 goals and contributed 12 assists during his time at the club. Then in fourth, Jamal Lassell, one of England's promising young talents when he joined Newcastle in 2014, has faced competition from emerging central defenders and has often been displaced from the starting lineup. Despite this, he has amassed an impressive 250 appearances for the club. In January 2024, Turkish club Besiktas reportedly made an official offer for Lascelles, who serves as the captain of Newcastle. As the summer approaches, Newcastle may reassess their options regarding Lascelles. His value as a player has increased with 15 Premier League appearances in the current season. Furthermore, with Sven Botman, another central defender, sidelined due to a long-term injury, Lascelles has the opportunity to accumulate more playing time in the Premier League. This increased exposure could potentially drive up his price for a summer transfer. In terms of his performance statistics, Lascelles was acquired by Newcastle for a modest fee of £3.5 million. He has made 250 appearances for the club, resulting in a cost per appearance of approximately £14,000. During his time at Newcastle, Lascelles has scored 15 goals and provided four assists. Alexander Isak joined Newcastle United in the summer of 2022 for a significant fee of £63 million. Since his arrival, he has made a notable impact both in terms of his goal-scoring prowess and overall performances. Few players at Newcastle can match the achievements of Isak in terms of goals scored and overall play. Given his talent and aspirations to compete in the Champions League, this summer presents an opportune time for Newcastle to cash in on him as several clubs are reportedly seeking a new centre forward. At 24 years old, there is optimism that he can develop into one of Europe's top strikers, with many already considering him to be a more complete striker than Erling Haaland. Although Newcastle is hoping that Isak will remain with the club and lead them into the ambitious era backed by Saudi investment. However, there have been recent reports linking Isak with a move to Arsenal, 
as the Gunners manager Mikel Arteta is reportedly searching for a new striker to replace Gabriel Jesus and Eddie Nketiah. However, securing a deal for Isak will come at a substantial cost, considering his impressive record of 26 goals in 57 appearances for Newcastle and 16 goals across all competitions in the current season. However, amid the transfer speculation while on international duty, Isak has addressed it. When asked about the transfer rumors in an interview with Swedish outlet Expressen, Isak stated that the speculation doesn't affect him much. He acknowledged that such rumors are common during transfer windows, but mentioned that he hasn't given it much thought. He emphasized that he remains focused on his current club. It doesn't affect me that much. It has been talked about many times, in many windows. I see it as just such a thing. Everyone knows that summer is coming and if things show up, things can happen. But I actually haven't even thought about it, he said. There were also rumors suggesting that Newcastle was considering surgery on Isak's groin injury, which has caused him to miss eight games this season. This news could potentially discourage suitors interested in signing him. Isak, however, dismissed these rumors, labeling them as strange and stating that he doesn't recall any trustworthy source making such claims. It was a strange rumor, actually. I don't remember who it came from, but there was no person trustworthy enough to say such a thing. So that's not true, he said. Isak mentioned that he feels unlucky with his injury setbacks and expressed his frustration with the heavy workload he has had to bear due to Newcastle's stretch squad and frequent setbacks. He revealed that he is working with a personal trainer to minimize the risk of future injuries. As of now, Isak is contracted to Newcastle United until 2028, and it remains to be seen whether he will stay with the club or make a move to Arsenal or any other potential suitors in the future. In terms of his performance statistics, Isak has made 57 appearances for Newcastle, resulting in a cost per appearance of approximately £1.1 million. He has scored 26 goals and provided three assists during his time at the club. Alexander Isak, together with Emil Kraft, also both recently started for Sweden as they beat Albania 1-0 in an international friendly, with them having a 7.3 and 6.7 match rating respectively. Then if you want to know the massive bombshell Bruno Guimaraes has just dropped on his future, click the video link on screen now.